I was going to say with GTA 6. And this is rumors and speculation. But I did hear a rumor that it's possible. Good morning, good afternoon, or good night, wherever you are tuning in from this. This is BS Buddies Podcast. I am your host, Joe. That is your host, Ian. And sure, Rockstar is like, yeah, we're making... We're making enough money with GTA 5, but we're just going to get a little bit more out and then we're going to delay GTA 6 for five more years, even though they have a release date, which I honestly believe that's probably going to be delayed a time or two more. I mean, it's been almost a decade since GTA 5. What, What does it matter making us wait more? I think it has, in fact, been a decade since GTA 5. Yeah, 2013. I believe GTA five and battlefield four released alongside each other. I'll, and, uh, I'll double check the, and make sure, but yeah, I, let me put it this way. I don't have high hopes for GTA six simply because 2013. Um, yeah. Simply because looking at what grand theft auto five has become and what they've turned it into makes me really scared that that's what's going to happen right off the bat with GTA 6. Because GTA 5, when it started, was an amazing concept, and it was done really well. And it was cool. You could you could work your way through the in-game progression system simply by playing the game and doing missions. And then they introduced heists, and everyone was like, wow, this is really cool. It's a lot of fun. And then eventually, over the years, you know, we've had the shark cards, the oppressors, the this, the that, the blah, 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 blah. And now it's to a point where you can't level up or even hope to come close to buying half the items in the game unless you spend actual real world yeah. money on it. And I'm not excited for that at all. I've grinded I, I really... a lot on GTA 5 just to buy some of these items. And it's like, there was one mission in particular that like we found out like paid you the most for doing the least amount and then at one point because i think you could get like forty thousand dollars so you just do the mission 20 times super easy and then you have a million dollars in game currency and you can buy the, the really expensive stuff but at one point i think they caught on and then they made the level like 10 times harder and also paid you like half as much so it's just pointless. But with that, GTA... that's the other thing. I was going to say, just a million dollars that used to be worth something. Like even even just to put a testament of the fact that a million dollars in the game sounds like a lot. You can't buy squat with a million dollars. You was... can buy maybe one or two armored cars, and that's it. It was right away, and then it's because you could only. It was mostly just like supercars you could buy. And then they started adding like you can buy tanks. You can buy all the different planes and helicopters that the game has, which I think I bought like three of them. Um, Like the big Titan one, the cargo ship, I think is like two mil. Uh, The most expensive cars in the game are a mil a piece. And I was going to say with GTA 6, and this is rumors and speculation, but I did hear a rumor that it's possible, again, big rumor, it's possible they might like charge instead of like $70 or $100, whatever they want to charge you for the game. I heard a rumor that they might do something like an hourly thing or like a subscription-based thing to play, which I think would just ruin the game. That would... I would absolutely tank it. And funny enough, I know what you're talking about. And it's weird because where the, I don't remember who even talked to us, CEO, a dev, whatever, where he was coming from talking about that was actually not the worst idea in the world. And before everyone starts screaming at me in the comments, I'll let you know. Um, so what he was getting at with that hourly thing was that games should charge based on the hours of gameplay they provide in a single player setting meaning if you purchase let's say a triple a game like uh just to make one up off the top of my head um the most recent modern warfare uh that only had a four-hour campaign that's what he was getting at you should only be charged for those four hours of gameplay multiplayer aside 
because it, the game itself, the substance was only four actual hours and everything else is extra riffraff that they added in for online multiplayer community. Now, I'm not necessarily saying that's a good idea, but I can see where he was coming from because games like Rockstar, well, I mean, you've got, look at how long GTA 5's campaign was. I mean, that was probably like, what, right. the 8 to 12 hour campaign? If you were to I'd play assume. it start to eight, beginning? 8 to 12 is pretty standard, I would say. It was a hefty size campaign with a lot of characters and there was a lot of different options. So you had replayability. You could go with one ending this time. You could go with another ending that time. There was many different facets to it. So I could see where he was coming from with that. But idea, yeah, an hourly or subscription based thing that would absolutely tank it because no matter how pretty your game looks, no matter how many bells and whistles you attach onto it, if it's not fun and if it's not engaging for the player they're not going to play it and especially if you want to start hanging a little price tag for every hour that they go into there or at a subscription that's not the only game they have i mean xbox game pass uh pc even playstation there's many 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 other options you can play besides gta 6 so i would hope they have enough sense to not shoot themselves in the foot with that idea the only thing in defense of it and like like I just kind of said, like, I don't want that. I don't I don't think it's a great idea. The only thing I can think of, like, if you had the option for, like, a subscription or an option to just buy the game, but if you buy the subscription, like, you make 1.5 times the amount of XP and money or two times the amount if you go subscription-based, I think then it might be worth it if you intend to spend a lot of your time on the game with all the constraints that I have in my current life. I just, if it's uh pay by the hour or something like that, I just can't justify myself because we, I mean, we got this podcast and I'm focused, <laughs> focusing on that and then kiddo. And it's like, I'd be able to play maybe three, Three to five hours a week if if I'm not super busy, but I just yeah, don't very, see myself very. sinking a ton of my time, especially when I have other games throughout the week that I play with different groups of people. Right. And well and it's just nuts to me that like looking at GTA six coming out and looking at how the technology of games has improved, I should hope that they learn how to optimize their files because i'm sorry another thing that's going to turn me off from this game is if i go to click download and it says you know 200 gigabytes of space required nah son i'm not getting your game i'm not pulling another call of duty where i have to uninstall 15 other games from my console to be able to play yours and i know some people might say we'll just get you know buy yourself an external hard drive and yada 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 okay first of all one I already have an external hard drive and it holds all of my non uh series x uh, s optimized games and second of all you gotta be cracked if you think i'm gonna spend 200 dollars on an external solid state drive just to download grand theft auto not happening yeah. son not happening at that point you better just sell me a hard drive that i can use like that it, it, the game doesn't even come on a disc it just comes on a hard drive and they're like hey I... you want to play gta plug this in that's actually incredibly smart. Like the Fox game is like load, but... <laughs> 150 gigabytes or whatever. And they're like, Hey, like you have the option to buy the game with like as a hard drive with like 500 gigs on it. And then like an attachment if, I don't know if you wanted to add more storage space just in case, but yeah, I mean, it's like you said, it would be a lot, but they could just upcharge it. It's like sell the game for 150 bucks on a 150 gigabyte hard drive, but it's Rockstar, so they'd probably do three hundred dollars. You better be getting some nice, uh, extravagant extras with that game if you're spending 150 dollars on a hard drive. Like you better be able to like that thing. Better be able to be like running 24 seven. You can just pick right into the game whenever you want. No. None of these 15-minute loading screens. None of this fail-to-connect nonsense. It's just like, oh, you want to play? Boop, there you go. Have fun. Um, I think we kind of had two videos in one. 
We we, just, we really did. We I think I might. I honestly think I'll split them up as a complete side note because <laughs> I, I actually thought about talking to GTA Six separately one day. I don't know if I ever brought it up, yeah. so I I think I'm gonna split this up into two separate ones. Two. Um. So, do you want to do a couple quotes, like two yeah. quotes each, then they'll edit, they'll figure it out. <laughs> yeah, you'll so, chop it up into however you can. So now, I'm going to make this super difficult for you to edit. By the way, I'm going to try and do as much spastic movement as possible so that you just have a hell of a time trying to cut it in a way that makes sense. Also, that was really cool. If I put my glass right here, it just completely cuts out part of my arm. I mean, yeah, there we go. Let's bring my arm back. I'm good. Uh, so we kind of recorded two episodes in one video, so the editing might look a little funny at this point. And Ian said he's not going to be helping with that point. Uh, so uh, we're gonna we're gonna just go to quotes. Hopefully, it turned out all right. Oh, I'm sure it did. Oh. Oh, that Pabst Blue Ribbon came back up. Doesn't taste as good coming up as it does going down. All right, um, I've got a good quote for you. If you concentrate on small, manageable steps, you can cross unimaginable distances. Uh, for the GTA 6, I found a Trevor Phillips quote that I love. It's kind of like a Yogi Berra quote. Don't you ever not tell me things I want to know. Oh man, that's that's a yogiism. Nice, nice. You, you know, know we, just yeah. because you're going to be editing this part and you can cut this out, you should have went with the Trevor quote that like, uh, I asked for an honest day's pay after an honest day's work, so he kind of got a little angry. I admit, I kind of got a little angry. Did you kill him? What kind of fucking animal you take me for? No, I didn't kill him. Oh, thank God. But I did kidnap his wife. Oh, no. Oh, I love that, <laughs> that one. That could be your quote for the GTA 6 video. No, I got to find another one. Um, <laughs> uh, my, my quote is by... Mr. Albert Einstein, learn from yesterday, live for today, hope for tomorrow. That's a good one. Two two solid ones for this video. And like I said, two for one. This editing is going to be fun. Can't wait. Thanks, <laughs> Ian. Uh, You're welcome. I'm here for you. But both of you from these videos are getting the same outro because I don't want to edit Two separate ones, I guess. Yeah, you get to see us twice. Hello, so, us in the past and us in the future. How are you doing? Good. Thanks, me. Appreciate it, me. You're welcome, me. So thank you guys for BSing with us today. Follow or subscribe to become a bud today. We will see you next time when we find When we're some still more... waiting for GTA 6. Yeah, probably. <laughs> <laughs> I think we'll hit. 300 episodes before GTA 6 comes out. And we'll hit 1,000 episodes before Elder Scrolls uh, 6 comes out. That's never coming out. Goodbye. Take her easy now. <laughs>